very warm welcome to our viewers on PBS in America and around the globe. A new Afghan government composed of senior Taliban figures could be announced as early as Friday. A senior leader told the BBC the government would be inclusive, but against this backdrop, the economy of Afghanistan is close to collapse, with little immediate prospect of the new Islamist rulers gaining access to the country's foreign currency reserves held in the West. Prices of essential goods are soaring, the value of the currency is falling, and many public services are barely able to function. Here's our Afghanistan correspondent, Sekunda Kamani. The Taliban are in firm control of the country. This, a huge military parade in the southern city of Kandahar, along with a captured helicopter. But the group still hasn't established a new government, leaving many Afghans in a state of limbo. Now that the final foreign troops have left, an announcement is expected soon. The last time the group was in power in the 1990s, their regime saw public executions and women banned from working. Now they say things are different, though they admit women won't be in senior positions. Maybe they, 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 they will be in the government in the lower business because uh, in every department of the government, ministries, you can say uh, almost half of the, uh, the, thing, the workers are uh, women. So they can come back to their work and they can continue. But maybe in, the, in this new uh, uh, government which has been announced, the, in, the, in the top post, I mean to say in the cabinet, they, mean, they, may, not, they may not be uh, women. The uncertainty about what the future will look like has seen the value of the Afghani drop and concerns about the economy rise. The World Bank and IMF are holding back from continuing support. Whilst the US has frozen reserves and most local banks remain closed. No one has any money right now. All their savings are stuck in the banks. People are just bringing small amounts of cash here to exchange, to pay for everyday living. I needed money for groceries, but the exchange rate isn't good, so I'm going home. The currency rate just keeps on fluctuating. I pray that God brings stability to the government and these problems can be solved. The Afghan economy has been heavily dependent on international aid. Whether or not that continues, at least when it comes to the West, is likely to be dependent on what kind of government the Taliban create, what kind of laws it enforces. Governing Afghanistan is going to prove a bigger challenge for the Taliban than taking control of it. They've been holding meetings with senior political figures like former President Hamid Karzai, but many doubt whether they're willing to really share power. Their elusive leader, Mullah Hebatullah, may well be declared leader of an Islamic emirate. These new pictures of some of the final US troops to be withdrawn from Afghanistan. The focus now is on what they've left behind. Sikandar Kamani, BBC News, Kabul. Well, as Sekunda was saying there, we're trying to find out what type of government the Taliban are about to unveil to the world. And uh, for more on how inclusive it could be, here's our chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette. Well, there's this magical word uh, of inclusive is being used by Afghanistan's neighbors to try to put pressure on the Taliban to share uh, some of the power so they don't have absolute control. But look at it in pure political terms. The Taliban have come to power much more quickly than even they expected. They now control more territory in Afghanistan than even when they were in power in the 1990s. So they feel they have an overwhelming mandate to pursue their overriding objective and that is I mean, we use words like government cabinet their objective is to establish an Islamic system so the choice of who is in to use the word the cabinet is going to be very much they're, they're now said to be discussing individuals on the basis of Islamic principles and Sharia law are these people corrupt did they work for the former government and what about women women will not be playing a leading role this in this is this new emerging Islamic Emirate women will be playing secondary roles to men we're hearing reports they'll play some roles but not at the senior levels and this is already very difficult different from what we heard even two years ago when the Taliban 
Taliban started discussing with representatives of the Afghan government and civil society here, they had this pat form of, of words where they said women can have any roles in our new Islamic government except the president or the prime minister, but they can be ministers, they can be CEOs. Now they seem to be rolling back from that because what happened in the past is now history. It's a new day for them, and it's a day when the Taliban are in charge. Please to set 